Hey everybody, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have you guys here on my blog and to share my first video um, with you guys and my first vlog, I guess you could say, um, just about me and about my life and about the things that I've gone through and <clears throat> the first thing that I want to talk about and share with you guys is why I left my previous network marketing business. Um, if you are new to my page or new to following me, um, my name is Kelly Waldeck. I am currently 36 years old. I am engaged to be married at the end of this year, uh, December 3rd, 2017. I will be a stepmom to five beautiful children that I'm super nervous, <laughs> but I know that God's going to give me what I need to be all that I can be for them and to be a positive influence in their life. So I'm really, really happy and excited about all these changes on top of my career change this year. So I, a little history about me. I was a massage and skin therapist for 13 years. I started that career in 2003. Um, I loved it. I loved helping people. I loved massage and skin care, but it is definitely something that you get burnt out on and it happens fast <laughs> because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy on people. And when you're doing five, six, seven massages a day, that's a lot, you know? And so I worked for a uh, salon and spa for eight years. I got into a really bad car accident in 2010. Um, I then got a settlement from the accident and decided to go out on my own. So I rented a salon space from a really good friend of mine. I worked there for, I think two and a half years. Um, well, actually I worked somewhere else, but anyway, so I, um, worked on my own for four and a half years and 2013 in walked Beachbody. I was overweight. I was fed up. I knew what I needed to do. I didn't have the accountability, didn't have the support, didn't have the community and Beachbody found me and it literally changed my life. I mean, it really did. It brought in amazing friendships and super inspiring people and I became a powerful business owner and I grew as a person and spiritually I grew, physically I grew, mentally I grew, emotionally I grew. I mean, it really did change my life in every aspect. So I was able to, in 18 months, I worked the massage business and skincare business and Beachbody for 18 months and then after 18 months I was able to retire my career because Beachbody supplemented my income and I was on a roll. I came home, I designed this little office that I'm sitting in and I was on a mission to help people. I was on a mission to help women feel confident, independent, uh, sexy, um, just all the things that I struggled with before, self-image, um, not feeling comfortable in my own skin, financial freedom, I was single. You know, I was a single like, girl. So I would lay at night going, what do I have to bring to the table when I get married? Like, what is it that I have to bring? Like, I, I was successful in my massage and skincare business, but I never made over $30,000, you know, because I had to physically be working on somebody. If I wasn't working on somebody, I wasn't making any money. You never know if you're you know, clients cancel or what your book's going to look like. And so network marketing just was it for me. I mean, it really was the answer because I loved working for myself. I loved helping people. I loved doing it on my time and I loved being in control of the, um, my income, you know, and with network marketing, it has the most limited, smallest investment of it, of your own business with unlimited capital or cap of what you can make. And so I loved that idea and I dove into personal development and I really did love Beachbody for the four years that I, I did it. Um, but the last, I would say a year and a half, two years, I was struggling. Um, I didn't see my income progressing. I saw changes in the company. My team wasn't succeeding. Um, I didn't know what else to do. I was trying to simplify and simplify and simplify, racking my brain, racking my brain, racking my brain, going, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Praying to God. God, what can I, what is happening here? What in, I knew that there was an issue when I wasn't the only one feeling that way. You know, I was seeing plummeting incomes with 
higher, higher up people that I looked up to. And I saw people jumping ship to other things. And I was like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out. And then it got to the point where I just, I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel anymore. I didn't see, especially coming into this wedding and new relationship and new family. Like I felt like I was constantly glued to my phone and it was to the point where I was tracking challengers down to even give me a before or after photo or, you know, they just invested their money and their time into this. And I felt like I wasn't doing my part when I knew that I was because I was committing to the programs. I was showing up every day in our challenge groups. I personally was reaching goals as a coach and a business owner. So I'm like, don't they say that the speed of the, of the leader is the speed of the tribe? And I just found that health and fitness was overpopulated, oversaturated, and I, I still believe in health and fitness. I still believe that everybody needs to keep moving. They need to be healthy. They need to, I still drink my shake every day. <laughs> but as far as the income, as far as the amount of time and effort and just heart, blood, sweat, tears, I mean, prayers, everything that I was putting in, I just didn't feel like it was coming back and as a business owner what do you do do you keep do you keep just you know starving and grasping at every little thing that you can do or do you make a change you know do you really look inside yourself and say am I happy can I see myself doing this long term and if not what changes can I make and that's when I found direct sellers uh, a very very close friend of mine we, she came to me and she confided in me and in tears. And this is someone that I've been on free trips with, someone that I have had work days with. We were in the Beachbody business together. And she's like my family. This girl's like my family. And she came to me and she mentioned how she was feeling. And I related to everything that she was feeling. And I started to dig in and I started to ask a lot of questions and I started to reach out to people that I knew that were Beachbody coaches that I knew had technically jumped ship. And you know what? It's not chasing shiny objects or jumping ship. If you're not happy, and this is what we, we always taught in Beachbody and always stood for, to help people live healthy and fulfilling lives. And if what you're doing is not fulfilling, then change it. Then it's okay. It's okay to change. It's okay to say, hey, like, you know what? I gave it my all and it, I don't have any more to give. I would rather give my all into something that's bringing me passion, that's bringing back that excitement to actually want to work and, and people are showing up and they're seeing fast, instant results and they don't have to be you know, waiting for a 30, 60 or 90 day transformation. I mean, I truly believe in changing people's lives with health and fitness is life changing, but changing somebody's income, <laughs> that's pretty damn life changing too, if you ask me. And so I decided to go into this wine business and I, um, I love the business model. I loved the compensation plan. I loved that it was super generous and I loved that it was one simple product, wine, that everybody likes, everybody drinks, and even me who's not a big drinker, 20% of the time I like to have a date night. I like to have a celebration for, for birthdays or weddings with my family and my friends. Like, I'm not drinking wine every night and that's not what I promote. I seen a business opportunity. I seen a business opportunity to tap into the $38 billion industry Industry around the world that has been around since the time that Jesus walked the earth they had vineyards then that they made money off of and helped people and supported small families and and that's just what they did so I I thought long and hard I prayed prayed long and hard and I I took the plunge and it's been a eight weeks a little over eight weeks today um, today is the 4th of July 2017 can't believe it and I have not looked back. Um, it has been a wild ride. I have been head down, laser focused. I've brought on 36 families into um, our team and it's been amazing. And people, we have pregnant ladies, we have um, hairstylists, we have dental hygienists, we have physician's assistants, we have nurses, we have stay at home moms. I mean, teachers. We have all walks of life, men and women. And that's what I think is amazing is that everybody can do this. Um, everybody can manage their time. Everybody can 
take the simple duplicatable systems that our team has, we are the fastest growing team, um, and apply this to their life in order to have the future that they really want. And so I'm just excited. I'm on a mission to give this gift to the next struggling person who doesn't see light at the end of the tunnel because quite frankly, I, when I started this business, was still $20,000 in debt. Um, and I was just like, I've got to do something about that. And so that is a driving force. My wedding is a driving force. My why, my kids, the kids, my husband to be, um, so your why constantly changes and with my why changing, so did my career. And it has just been so incredible. And if you're watching this video and you've been following my page or you've been just you're, or, or you're new to this page and you're just like ready for a change, enjoy a glass of wine every now and then, or even don't, but see a business opportunity to share wine with your friends and family, ship to your doorstep from all over the world, and earn a crazy residual uh, lucrative income. Now, your income is based solely off of your own efforts. It's not based upon what I do, but it's based upon what you do. Um, your skills, your efforts, and your time that you put in. So what do you want to get out of it? You know, we would sit and talk about what do you want to feel? How do you want to live? What are your goals? What are your visions? What are your dreams? And we would figure out a plan of action for you. And that's what's great about this. You go at your own pace, we figure out what success means to you, and we develop a plan to help you achieve that goal. So thank you for taking uh, time to listen to my short story. story. Um, I'm super excited for what the future holds for our team growing, and you never know, take a leap of faith figure it out on the way down, trust your gut, trust your instincts, and do something amazing that your future self will thank you for. Have an awesome day, guys. Thank you so much.